what happened the last two years leading up to this point. Okay, I probably stepped on the track maybe about four or five times to compete. That was due to um, injuries, the block of me competing for a team after I transferred. And that was two broken vertebrae, a broken foot, and a broken hip along with a bunch of other stuff not being able to compete because of Georgia and it's just been a long road and yes. <laughs> There's a national champion. <laughs> oh. That's what I was grabbing you from. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd stop chasing me, I could get away from I you. want you. I want to kiss you. I want to hug you. That reminds me of that the video of uh, Charlie D'Amelio. Put some more. Don't be shy. Put some more. <laughs> put some more. Be shy. Give me some more. Asabania. Come on, move. Come on. Come on. Long jump national champion. That's me. Finally did it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Finally. And, 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 I jumped 22.9 and I got the Olympic standard. Olympic standard, collegiate record, as in the best in history, in the entire history of the NCAA, the best to ever do it. Not only that, you could have put Tara in any NCAA championship, any meet that has ever taken place in the NCAA, and she would have won every single one of them. That just freaking blows my mind. What a freaking champ. Olympic standard, championship record, school record, meet record. Personal best. Personal best. <laughs> I did it. You freaking killed it. It's been a long time. Long time coming. It's been a long <laughs> One super quick thing we forgot to enter, we'll talk about it a little later, but if you guys want to see a full house tour, leave a like on the video so we know. This is Tara's first week in here, so we finally have a chance to like show you guys it if you want to see it. And a like on the video just helps us out a lot and lets us keep doing what we love and making videos for you guys. But thanks and let us know. One of my favorite inventions in the world is that soda stream over there and it's, it's really carbonated. It's spicy. Go for it. <laughs> this hurts me. <laughs> that was ah! <laughs> it's too spicy. Yeah, she's a, she's a baby. Mm. Oh, it went in my chest. <laughs> Imagine like a super carbonated soda. Hi. Guess what I just did? I just picked up a camera to start vlogging. No way. What year is it? Uh, 1989. <laughs> Well, today's my last day, which is unfortunate, but the good thing is that we're making steak and eggs for breakfast, well, for lunch. Did that hurt? I'm so sorry. No. Oh, okay. Oh, we got some steaks at Sam's Club, some ribeyes, if you're not a meat eater. Sorry. sorry. And my business partner, Jonathan, got us a smoker as a household gift. She's out there. Been learning how to cook on it. Hey, this is my job. Okay, here you go. Miley, you already tore up your toy, dude. No, it's his other toy. It's his, oh. his real toy. I think he was getting really upset and anxious that we weren't off. He was like whining. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook these steaks. This is how my business partner Jonathan does it. We're gonna cook them like this, and then another time we're gonna cook them like my dad tells me, and then we're gonna see which one's better. But I'll give you guys the down low on how to cook these bad boys. Just come on out this way. Out on our patio. Smokers at 400 degrees. Tara's steak. She likes hers medium. And then we'll leave that on for five to seven minutes before we put this one on. So then let's go back inside. <laughs> we got the plain colored ones. Because Tara didn't like the Martha Stewart red ones or the <laughs> speckled ones. The rock. So we got that that members mark. Yeah yeah. Whatever that means. It's like Sam's Club Great Value brand. Oh. You didn't know that? No. 
Loser. You cook a lot of ramen in there. Oh yeah, we can put a lot of ramen in there. <laughs> let, me, let me place this bad boy. I'm just gonna guess. Yeah, Dang perfect it. fit. <laughs> Let's go see how Milo's doing. Hi, Mido. Emotion. Should we do like a full house tour video? Yeah, we're to be done. But like today? We're gonna post this video first because this was all about Tara and the collegiate record. And make sure you guys subscribe because next video will be a full house tour. And a full house tour? Tell them what to do, babe. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on! Primarily like the video because it helps us out a lot. But subscribe too so you don't miss that video next time. Okay, everyone, we've been having a debate for probably the last three years in our relationship. <laughs> okay, it has to do with pots and pans, which I think everyone has. Let us know in the comments where you guys put pots and pans. I and my family think that pots and pans go under the, the oven in this drawer right there. Tara believes that you don't put anything in there. And where would you put the pa pots and pans? In here. Let us know, I, where do you guys put your pots and pans? Because I feel like that's some foo-foo, but maybe a little bit of both, I don't know. They can't even fit in there. But some of them can, you def that's where they go. You cook there, you must no, put them I in. mean, I see where you put like, not these pans, like cookie sheets. No, cookie sheets go up there. No, they don't, <laughs> cookie sheets go down here. You think all those pans can fit in here? No. Cookie sheets are made for that. I don't know. I'm right. I don't know. We'll see. Probably. You're, you're usually right about these things. As with most things, Tart's coming away with a W. I'm what? You're coming away with a W. Yep. And we're putting the pans in the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes. Ooh, baby. Cars is done. Put that back row over. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Now we got ten minutes on that side. Let those bad boys go. Fight me, fight me. Oh boy. Fight me. Oh boy. They're gonna get grilled hard. Probably should have set that down, but. It looks like really steamy, but it's not. The lens is just steamy. All right, eggs are done, steaks are done. It's time for breakfast. Call for coffee. Tara got us these from Target. So cute. We need to go to another Target run. Yeah, we do. A Target video. Okay. Steaks are done, eggs are done. Just Time to food! Just take a bite, let's see what you got. Go straight to the end, wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. All right, good. Oh yeah, that is perfect. That's the most perfect steak I've ever seen. It's a little medium for baby girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I gotta say, the latte art, 10 out of 10. Thank you, baby. Yeah, Thank that, that's, you so a, much. that's a leaf. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was gonna turn the camera so easy. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how you sleep so much. <laughs> you too. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> you ready to get up? Mm-hmm. 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 You're not wrong. Excuse me, Bob. Excuse me. Milo loves sitting wherever he thinks that I'm going to sit. Whoa! Oh, girl. What is this? My new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I burned my hair in the day. Yeah, we were really on the stove while we were cooking breakfast. So, Tara's a national champion. So casual. So cash. So cash. I don't know, I just wanted to make a video about it. Tara didn't really because she doesn't want to like self promote, but I'm all about it. I'm all about the press. So, we didn't get a film to meet at all um, because Mr. Davis, Tara's dad, and I had to stay here in Washington because they didn't allow fans. Mm -hmm. And then we didn't really get to film anything. We filmed some reactions while we were watching the meet. So I'll sprinkle those in because I think they're pretty funny. Stop it! And then we'll obviously put 
play Tars Jumps. So yeah, I jumped three times at the meet. And my last jump, I jumped 22.9. My track career, I probably stepped on the track maybe about four or five times to compete. And that was due to my low um, injuries, the block of me competing for a team after I transferred, and COVID. And that was two broken vertebrae, a broken foot, and a broken hip, along with a bunch of other stuff, not being able to compete because of Georgia. And it's just been a long road. And yes. Tara's fought through a lot mentally and physically, and there's been a lot of people that have been real negative, and that have been, you know, talking down on Tara, and just not really believing in her. So she fought through all of that, and that's why this weekend was such a big deal for mm -hmm. everyone. It just kind of goes to show like everything that we've been through up to this point. So, freaking massive. How'd you feel going into the meet? I was hyped, I was excited, I was nervous. Usually I'm a little bit nervous, but at this point, why do I have to lose? Like, and you're at home. Yeah. <laughs> Joined my time in Arkansas and I just said, no worries. Um, I'm at the biggest stage I could be at, so there's nothing to be nervous about. And then, Right before the meet, Tara wanted an energy drink to get hyped up, so we were dropped off an energy drink, and then like she got in the car. She was like, I need to get hyped up. So we bumped like some music like as loud as we could, and then you went off to the track, and I was like talking her down when I got back, and I was like, I just got a good feeling. Like, I think she's going to freaking kill it. And first jump? First jump, 21-6. Um, I... Did not do anything that my coach told me to do <laughs> during that jump. I just completely disregarded every um, thing that I was supposed to do. I was like, okay, I know, like I don't need any feedback, like I know what I did wrong. So I, I went back, next jump, I put the pieces together, I did my approach correctly, I took off correctly, and that was 22 feet. Here we go. Long jump runway. This is Tara Davis, also a former Georgia standout, now at the University of Texas. Oink. Ooh! Ooh! I was like, all right, now that I've jumped 22 feet, pretty much a PR in college, let's just do it. Let's do the damn thing. And got super hyped. And I popped off 22 9. Which is. Let me list them all off. 22.9 is a collegiate record, as in the best in history of the NCAA. Any meet ever competed in the NCAA, Tara would have won every single one of them. The world leader, best jump in the entire world as of right now. Uh, school record, a meet record, uh, personal best, Olympic standard, which That's means the main one. Tara's in a massive position to make the Olympic team going to Tokyo. And just freaking comeback season accomplished. Yep. I'm just adding this one last clip. Tara doesn't know I am, but I'm going to anyways because I had the videos and I can. But this is just a clip the Texas media department captured of the jump and Tara's reaction. And and I just feel like it's like a culmination of all the, the just garbage that Tara's had to fight through the last two years to get to where she is. So I couldn't be more proud of her and I couldn't be more thankful that I was here and her dad was here to be able to share this moment with her and she works harder than anybody I know and I just wanted you guys to see like how emotional this moment was and how cool it was for her and and then you can see our reaction so it's just really special to me and I just thank you everyone for supporting us but that's all. <laughs>
This is the tweet, this is the tweet, it like <laughs> sums it up totally. I can't even tell y'all what this girl's about to do outdoors. I don't even know what I'm gonna do outdoors. She doesn't believe in herself as much as everyone else does. But if you guys were betting on Tara, you're betting on us. Thank you guys. Thank you, and if you're a hater, keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> keep hating. <laughs> Sorry we didn't get to film the meat. I I tried everything I could to get inside that meat, but it, Sorry I couldn't film it. I just didn't want to. Yeah, no, you're competing in that, so it's fine. Um, remember we're gonna be giving away a giant hoodie at the end of every video, including this video, so just like the video and leave us a comment to read and you could be the winner. It's at the end of every video, so make sure you stick So who is the winner for this one? Well, I don't think we're out trying yet. I have another special thing for you. <laughs> You want to inspire some people watching? Any tips, tricks, advice, inspiration? Honestly, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, I promise. I, I was down, but I'm back. I'm up now. And if I can do it, you can do it. That's good advice. Good job, baby. Alright, everyone. Tara is getting on an airplane in just a few hours with my dough boy, so... I asked Hunter if he wanted to keep him, he said no. Because he's gonna miss his sister. He misses his sister. So that's that's the end of this video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you made it this far and you haven't, it's silly anyways. If and you're new, welcome. Welcome to the family. And next week, full house tour. We're yep. gonna film it right now, so we have it for next week, so hit that subscribe <laughs> notification thingy, the little bell. Thanks to everyone. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the support. Thank you guys for being there for me when I was down. Oh, and the winner of the hoodie. Hold on. <clears throat> and the winner of the giant hoodie, Cynthia Smith. Thank you so much for watching. Her comment 40. was so happy for y'all. I knew this house was the one for y'all. And I think we did too. I think we picked pretty good. You guys can decide next week. Ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>